strong man personal finance. Today, I'm gonna make you an ASMR video. Are you ready? It's gonna be about saving money and buying stocks. So you're on Facebook. Your life is in the dumps. You can't seem to pay your bills. Not because you don't make good money, but because you never check your bank account and you can't resist buying BS. You just have to get that 50,000th dress, don't ya? You just gotta buy it. You can't stop. As you're scrolling through your feed, which is full of corgis and bumper tacos, you stop and you see a post from Strong Man Personal Finance. And you're like, who is this man? Who is this warrior of personal finance spreading the good word and helping people fix their jacked up money problems? So you click, you click on his profile and then you see a bunch of spicy personal finance memes and you laugh because they're funny. They are so, so funny. But in addition to being funny, they are also very truthful. At that moment, you decide to swear off your terrible financial habits and you go to strong man personal finances YouTube. <clears throat> you immediately watch the first video and this video tells you exactly how to unscrew yourself from your financial predicament. What does that video say? <clears throat> it tells you to number one, save up one month's emergency expenses in a high yield savings account. I know you may have to cut out some crap out of your budget to save money. You may have to stop eating out every freaking day, okay? Or buying your new clothes. Or buying a new freaking car, okay? You don't need to buy a new car. Get a piece of junk. Whatever you have to do, you need to cut your expenses or increase your money that you make at work. Whatever you decide to do, you can start building your savings account for one month of emergency expenses. After that is complete, you are then going to put every dime that you can into paying off all of your stupid debts that you accrued on your high interest accounts, such as your Macy's card, or the money you spend at GameStop on your stupid little games that aren't StarCraft Brood War. And you're then going to pay off all, all of your credit cards, any high interest debt, any personal loans. Guess what? You're not going to go out and party and spend money on things that you want because you're in freaking debt and you need to pay it off. Jesus. So you pay off all your debts except for your mortgage and maybe your car payment if it's low interest, roughly 3% or below. Then you need to build your savings account even more. But before you if you have a 401k match at work, you need to get the match, but no more. After that, then you build your savings account and you save three to six months of emergency expenses, such as your mortgage, your stupid car payment if you have one, your health care, your utilities, and your food, things that will keep you alive. You save three to six months of that. Next step is to open a Roth IRA at Vanguard or Fidelity or Charles Schwab, but I never use them, so you don't have to either. You open that IRA and you do everything you can to max it out. Six hundred dollars, sorry, six thousand dollars a year into a target retirement fund. Once you've maxed it out, you do some freaking research on investing 
and you can decide to change your investment to something else besides a target retirement fund. But until you know what you're actually freaking doing, and that means not buying Tesla or Nikola, until you know what you're doing, you put all your money into a target retirement index fund. Once you have maxed out your Roth, then you max out your spouse's Roth. After that, if you're able to max out both Roths and you still have money left over and you're getting a 401k match, then you put as much as you can into your 401k. After you max your 401k and your Roth and your spouse's Roth and your spouse's 401k, if you still have money left over, which you probably won't because that's a lot of freaking money to invest. Then you can invest in a taxable account into growth stocks that don't pay dividends. Okay? That's all you gotta freaking do. Free up money. Get your 401k match. Build up your savings. Pay off your stupid debts for your crap that you bought. Because you just had to have it. Then you max out that delicious superstitious Roth, then you go to the 401k and then to your taxable accounts, okay? Did you like this? Are you going sleepy boo now? Are you tired? Well, if you like this video, hit the freaking like button and subscribe to Strongman Personal Finance. You guys have a wonderful day.